Bible class. Today we're going to learn about four four time signatures or meters. So let's first go ahead and say the definition together. So I'll say it first and then you copy after me. Are you ready? A symbol that tells us the number of beats found in a measure when complete. Awesome. Thanks for saying that along with me. Um, so this idea of a time signature or a meter, um, there's a lot of different kinds of time signatures, but we're going to focus on the one that's the most common today, where there's a four on the top and a four on the bottom. We call that four, four. Um, so in four, four time, the top number tells us how many beats are in a measure. So there's four beats in a measure. And the number on the bottom tells us what kind of note gets the beat. So a quarter note in 4-4 four, four time gets the beat. Think about that as how there's four quarters in a dollar. So four beats in a measure, the quarter note gets the beat. So here's an example of how our time signature or our meter is written out. If you take a look at the left side of your screen, you see that four over four, right? Um, so we can look at that and we already know, oh great, there's gonna be four beats in a measure and the quarter note gets the beat. That really saves us time because then we don't have to count it up like we did um, last week when we were looking at those different measures. We already know the answer. So let's take a look at some examples of um, some rhythms written in 4-4 four, four time. We can tell they're all written in 4-4 four, four time because there's that 4 over 4 at the beginning of each measure. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to clap each rhythm and you're going to clap it right after me. So first I'm going to do the one on the top. One and two and here I clap. Ta, 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 ta. And now you clap. Ta, 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 ta. Very good. Awesome. So we can see in each of those measures there was four quarter notes, four beats. So we know it was in four, four time. Awesome. For this next one, um, remember that when we get to those eighth notes, the two notes that are barred together, instead of saying ta, we say TT. So I'll clap it first, and then the second time, how about this time you try it without me? One and two, and here I go. Ta, TT, ta, ta, TT, ta, 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 and here you go. Fantastic, awesome. So we can see in our second example that this one still has four beats in a measure because remember that a quarter note is worth one beat and two eighth notes paired together are also worth one beat. Um, awesome, so let's take a look at the last example. Remember that when we get to that little squiggly line, that rest, we're gonna make no noise at all. I'll do it first and you copy after me. One and two and here I go. T T ta 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 T T ta ta and here you go. Awesome, that one was so fun. Let's do it one more time. I'll do it first. Here I go. T T ta 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 T T ta ta and here you go. Awesome, great job. Thanks for clapping those rhythms with me. Awesome, so here in our next slide, what they did was they tried to trick us. So some of these measures have an incorrect number of beats inside. So remember that we're looking for four beats in a measure, aren't we? But some of these are not gonna have four. So take a look at the green example, the example on the top and try and guess between those two measures which one has an incorrect number of beats. Wow. 
Which one did you guess? The correct answer was the second measure. So if we take a look at that first measure, right, I see quarter note, quarter note, two eighth notes, and a quarter note. So I count up one, two, three, four. Awesome, we got the right number of beats. But if we look at the second measure, we only have three quarter notes, so we're missing that fourth beat. Awesome. Okay, now take a look at the blue example and um, see which one has the wrong number of beats between those two measures. You can pause the video if you want a little extra time to take a look at it, but I'll give you a little pause here. Awesome, so you can pause the video if you need more time, but if you've got your answer, let's take a look and see what was correct. So in that first measure, I see a TT, that's one beat, and three TAs, two, three, four. So that measure is correct. However, if we look at that second measure, I count a quarter note, that's one, a rest, that's two, a quarter note, that's three, a rest, that's four, and then wait, there's another quarter note. So that one has five beats in it, that's too many, huh? So the second measure, again, is the measure that's gonna be wrong. Awesome, now give it a try um, with the orange example, the one on the bottom. So you can pause the video if you need more time, but if not, let's take a look together. So I see um, in the first measure, a TT, another TT, now we're two, and a TA. But that only gives us three beats and we're looking for four. So in that example, um, the first measure is incorrect. And let's just double check the second measure just to see. I see one, two, three, four quarter notes, four beats. So the second measure is correct. So the first measure is the one that's incorrect. If you're still confused about this or you have any questions, feel free to have your parents help you email me with the questions that you have. Um, and then your assignment for this week is gonna be um, the worksheet that says four, four time signatures. And what you're gonna do, the directions say, each example below contains one measure of rhythms that do not add up to four beats. Circle the incorrect measure in each example. So it's exactly what we just did here um, on the green, the blue, and the orange examples. Um, so give that a try. If you have any questions, your parents can email me. Um, but if not, have fun with your worksheet, and I hope you have a wonderful day.